walking into the cooling tower for the first time, just the vastness of the open space just sort of hits you really. You look up and it's just eerily silent. The smallest noise echoes around. It's unlike anything I've been in or seen before. They are 140 metres high and the bottom diameter is 86 metres. For the majority of the height they are 7 inches thick. It is the shape that gives it its strength. We generate electricity by turning water to steam in a boiler at a very high pressure and temperature. At the end of that process, the steam needs to be condensed back to water. The air passes up through the cooling tower, cooling the water, and what you see coming to the top is water vapour. And that water, which has then been cooled, is returned by pumps back to the turbine system. They were designed in the mid 60s, late 60s, at a time where there wasn't huge computer processing power. Really, they would have been designed mainly by hand. To design one of these nowadays would be super complex. And I honestly don't know how they did it back then. <laughs> <laughs> 